Why now it's six. Vote 2024, election day fewer than two weeks away. But many people across our area are already casting their ballots during early voting. We've been hearing from our News for Jacks viewers in Duval County with concerns about a touch screen voting machine. So we reached out to the supervisor of elections to see what they're doing to address the issue. News for Jacks anchor Janice Harris got a step by step look at how the voting process works and the solutions in case they run into any technical issues. She's joining us now from a supervisor of elections in Duval County. Janice. And you know, as this happens, there's already been a hundred thousand people that have voted early in person and over 40,000 people that have voted by write in ballot. And with that, there have been a couple of issues. But when I talked to the supervisor of elections, he said those have been resolved. Voters are casting their ballot early, but some said they're having problems voting on the digital screens. Former Congressman Corrine Brown and former state senator Tony Hill spoke out today alongside other voters at the Duval County Supervisor of Elections office. We are having some problems uh, at the voting place on uh, Sutail, and I had a problem when I touched the screen and when it came out, it wasn't for the people who I voted for. So we're asking people to, first of all, check your ballot when you come out of the voting uh, booth. The problem or the challenge wasn't just at this particular place. We got calls from all over starting Monday. And so I thought it was important that people know. So I met with Duval County Supervisor of Elections, Jerry Holland, to get clarity earlier today. This is the room where poll workers train to prepare for early voting on election day. Holland tells us what to expect. They take their ballot and they put it in the machine. So this is a test. That this is just a sample. This is not real ballots. These are not counted. They can't be. So we're just showing a test of what the election would show. You walk up, the paper will go in, you choose your language, next select, and then you will have instructions and the voting process begins. Now this is where some of the issues have been. Okay. Uh, again, we are changing. We are going from touching with your hand to touching with a stylus. One of the issues during this election so far has been sometimes when someone goes to touch a candidate, their hand will hit another candidate. The solution, make sure your finger is in the right candidate you want, or you can use a stylus for accuracy. At the end of the ballot, you'll be asked to review your selections. It's going to show you before printing everything you've selected. If you make a mistake, you can go back to the poll worker station and ask for another ballot. They will give you another card and you start over. Once it's all done, you walk over to the machine and insert your ballot. This is your ballot. You will come over to the uh, DS-300 and at this point, it would go in here. This is just a demo. It's not a live ballot, but it's the same type of tabulator that will be used on election day and for early voting. So once that goes in, it's processed, and then a receipt comes out to confirm that the person voted. No receipts. No receipts. No. But you are allowed by law no to receipts. take a picture of your ballot with your no. cell phone, Again, but you won't get a receipt. You got is a receipt when you and we will upload this story on our website at newsforjacks.com. So if you miss any of that, you can watch it over and over again. Also, it's so important for you to remember there are two types of paper ballot, either the manual ballot where you fill the circles in or the express ballot. That is the digital form that I just showed you in the story. Now, if you don't do the express and you have a preference, you will have to let them know about that preference during the early voting phase. If you have any questions, you can always go to DuvalElections.gov, but you can find all of this in my story on our website at newsforjacks.com. Reporting live at the Duval County Supervisor of Elections, Janice Harris, Channel 4, The Local Station. Thank you, Janice.